In this video, I will show you how to send WhatsApp messages to new Pipedrive leads automatically. So as you all know, Pipedrive is a very popular CRM software and I want that whenever a new lead is created in this Pipedrive CRM software, an automatic WhatsApp message should be sent to that lead, maybe a thank you message or maybe a welcome message. So if you also want to start sending the automatic WhatsApp message to your Pipedrive leads, come with me and I will show you how we will set this automation step by step. Alright, so here you can notice that I have already sent a welcome message to a Pipedrive lead and to send this WhatsApp messages, I have used this Interact application and in order to automate this whole process, I'll have to build an integration in this Pipedrive CRM and in the Interact and I am going to integrate these applications with the Pabli Connect. Well, it is an integration and automation software and here you can see I am already an existing user of Pabli Connect, so I am already logged in you can also create your free account in just two minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test this automation now once you will reach to the dashboard click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide any random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i have provided the name as send whatsapp messages to new pipe drive leads okay so click on create and then you will notice two boxes in front of you okay so these are actually triggers and action so here trigger means when this happens and action means do this so whenever this happens then automatically do this understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in our payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application to your customer all right so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation and according to our use case whenever any new lead is created in the pipe drive application then automatically send the whatsapp messages via interact application so that is why i have selected pipe drive and interact in this trigger and the action window okay now the idea here is i'm going to connect these two applications one by one with the Pabli connect okay so firstly we will select the trigger event that is new lead because i want that whenever a new lead is added this automation should trigger or you can say the message should get sent so that is why I have selected the same. Now I am going to click on this connect button, clicking on add a new connection and for the connection, it is asking for the API token. Okay, so you can read these instructions that from where you will get this token. Okay, so you'll have to go to the setting, then personal preferences and then API. All right, so this is the dashboard of my uh, pipe drive and here you can notice that if I will click here, I will find the option of personal preferences. In this personal preferences you will also find an option of api okay from here exactly i'm going to copy that api key and let me come back to the dashboard of pabli connect and paste the same and this is how you will notice that pipe drive account will be connected with the pabli connect now as soon as i'm going to click on this button save and send test request you will notice that a response is received okay and in this response it has provided the recent details of the lead so the most recent lead which has got created in this pipe drive crm was this demo thing okay so that is why it is showing the details of the same now i am going to create a new lead in front of you and then you will notice that how pabli connect will capture that new lead also okay so instead of directly instead of manually adding the lead how about we create this lead with the help of this web form okay so this is how this automation is going to take place as soon as someone is going to fill our web form a lead will be created automatically inside our pipe drive crm and that lead will automatically receive a whatsapp notification maybe a thank you message or a welcome message or it could be anything so i have created a very basic a small form and here i'm going to provide some dummy details okay so assume that the name of the person is demo user i will also add the email address as demo at the rate pabli tutes dot com all right and lastly i will add a dummy whatsapp number uh, of the user okay but don't worry i will replace this number with a genuine whatsapp number of mine when i will send the real whatsapp messages okay so firstly i am going to submit this registration form all right asking for the images basically for the verification 
all right registration submit it is done okay let me close this web form this is the dashboard of pipe drive let me check whether the lead has been created or not okay so this is the lead inbox and here you can see demo user has been created if i will open that lead you will notice the same email address is here okay and where is the phone number all right here we have the dummy phone number okay now i am going to click on this button and you will see the recent detail basically the lead details will be received via public connect here all right so here you can notice we have received the name of demo user let me also show you other details okay so here we have the phone number of that lead here we have the email address of the lead okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between our pipe drive crm and public connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time a new lead is created inside my pipe drive crm public connect will capture Sure, those details in every eight hours. Now, why in eight hours? Because the trigger here is the polling based, which will check for the new data in every eight hours. But don't worry, your data will surely be arrived here, and your automation will definitely take place. Okay, it is just that you'll have to wait it for patiently. Okay, moving further now, I wanted to send the WhatsApp message to this particular person on his WhatsApp number, and again, I am telling you. that this is just a dummy phone number okay so where is that phone number that dummy phone number okay i will replace this number with the my genuine whatsapp number okay so just like we have built the connection in between pipe drive and pabli connect now we will be connecting this interact with the pabli connect okay so firstly select the action event that is send whatsapp template message click on connect click on add a new connection and again for the connection it is asking for the secret key okay so again Again, you will have to read these instructions, and you can visit this particular documentation link. All right, so let me uh, open that documentation from where I will receive my secret key. All right, so this is the key. Let me copy. Come back to Public Connect dashboard. Let me paste to the same. Clicking on Save, and then you will notice my Interact application will be also connected with the Public Connect. Now it is asking me several details. Okay, so firstly it is asking for the country code, then the phone number, and then the full phone number. Now why it is asking phone number at two different places? Okay, so before I explain you this, firstly I will show you a note that is it is mandatory to give you give a value for either. full phone number or for both phone number and country code well it completely depends on that what kind of phone number you have if you have a full phone number and here full phone number means the number along with the country code okay so if you have a full phone number in that case you will have to provide the details here okay but if you only have the phone number only you do not have the country code in that case you'll have to provide your number in this specific field and then you can separately provide the country code okay currently in this scenario i have the full phone number basically the number along with the country code so i am going to provide the number in the second field only that is in the full phone number full field only okay and the interesting part is i don't need to manually copy the above details and paste it here i am going to map these details okay and mapping is very simple click on this field and you will find the above data here in the drop down okay and let me tell you what is the importance of mapping okay so whatever the details we will map here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time okay i am repeating this again when this automation will work in next time these details will be replaced automatically okay now it is asking for the template code name so before we provide the code name firstly i will take you to the dashboard of interact application and let me tell you a very important thing okay so whenever you create an account in to your interact application the very first thing you'll have to do is to create a message template now what is this message template so basically whenever you want to send any kind of message to your customer to your leads or to your client basically whenever you want to initiate the conversation with your customers you will always have to create a whatsapp message template if you are sending the messages via official cloud api of whatsapp okay and uh, once the template is created you will also have to submit it for the approval and then the 
parent company of whatsapp that is meta is going to approve your template if your template is approved then only you will be able to initiate the conversation with your customers okay so let me show you in this active section i have created several message templates and whatever the templates marked with the green color are the approved templates and the template marks with the red color are actually the approved one oh i'm sorry for that that is rejected one and the templates marked with the orange color are actually the pending one okay for sending the thank you or the welcome messages to my pipedrive crm leads i have created a very nice message template let me show you and this template is already approved here you can notice okay let me open this template and here you can notice that i have provided the name to this template as welcome message okay i have selected the category as utility i have selected the language as english it has also the option of header which is actually optional so that is why in this case i have not included any header okay but just in case if you want to attach any image any video document or text along with your header in that case you can select that particular choice okay and from here exactly you can create your message which you would like to send to your leads or to your clients and let me tell you the interesting thing you just need to create a single template only and the same message will get sent to all the users only the details will be replaced here automatically okay so whatever the details i want to keep on changing automatically i have added those details in the form of variable yes these curly braces okay these numbers packed with the curly braces are called as variables and you can add as many as variables as you want currently i am into the preview mode that is why those options of adding the variables are not visible here but when you will edit your template or when you will create a fresh template you will find various option along with this particular box okay so this is the message hello and here the name of the person will appear automatically i will show you how we will provide the details here okay welcome to pabli your request has been received and one of our team member will contact you shortly and ask your requirement meanwhile you can check our website thank you and here i will add the company name okay and here you can notice that footer and button options are also provided but again these were optional so i have not included any of this data into my template okay and let me tell you a very important thing once you will create your template before you submit it for the approval you will also have to provide the samples samples are nothing but just a dummy content just a sample content basically you are telling the system that what values will appear in place of these variables this is just a sample content okay and this is how you can create your template submit it for the approval and once the template is approved you are actually ready to use this template you are actually ready to send the messages okay so let me again open this template where is that template gone all right so this is my template firstly i am going to copy the code of this template from the url make sure that you do not include the forward slash okay basically the starting and the ending slash coming back to my pabli connect dashboard and firstly i am going to paste the name of the code basically code name of the template okay now it is asking for the language okay so remember i have told you that i have used english language basically i have selected english language with this template so that is why i am going to provide the code for english language and the code for english language is en so let me add the same if you have selected english us then the code will be en and us asking for the header value so as i have told you initially that i have not included any header so i will leave this particular field blank asking for the body variable values the most interesting part okay because here exactly from here exactly we are going to provide the value values to our variables okay so suppose you have two variables inside your template you just need to provide the value in this way separated by a comma and again i want that these values should be replaced automatically so instead of providing any value manually i will map those details okay so simply click on this particular field and you will find the above data here in the drop down okay so i want that in place of first variable the name of the customer should be visible should be added okay so let me search for the name of the person 
person which was demo user and again this name will be replaced here automatically again i will put a comma and then i will provide the value to the second variable which is going to be the website link well this is something which is going to save so instead of providing this value via mapping i can also provide this value uh, manually all right here i have provided the value to the second variable also asking for the third variable which is actually the team name okay so this is also not going to change so how about i provide the value manually and again it is completely up to you that what values you want to change automatically okay so you can add a number of variables accordingly and then you can provide the details either via mapping or by manually okay so i think i have provided the details i have provided the value to all three variables now i am going to click on this button save and send test request before but before that i am going to replace this dummy number with a genuine whatsapp number basically with my whatsapp number okay so let me also delete this message so that i can show you how message will be received automatically all right let me provide the same all right so i have provided the number let me click on this button save and send test request and you will notice that the response is received and if th that response is positive here you can notice the response is received let me go back to my whatsapp web and here you can notice that the message is already arrived okay why i have received two message at a single time i think uh, another automation is also working in the back end that is why i have received two message at the same time okay so here you can see hello demo user welcome to pabli your request has been received and one of our team member will contact you shortly and ask your requirement meanwhile you can check our website thank you pabli team and here you can notice that the name of the person is replaced automatically the value of second variable is also replaced and the value of third variable is also replaced okay so this is how now onwards every time a new lead is created inside this pipe drive crm firstly the details will be captured via pabli connect in every 8 hours and a message will get sent automatically to that lead okay so this is how you can entirely automate this whatsapp messaging process to your leads and again you can send the messages of your choice okay i have created i have sent this message just as an example okay and to automate this process you need to create this automation inside pabli connect just once okay and after that you can sit back and and relax because pabli connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually and just in case if you want to access this workflow this automation inside your pabli connect account i will also dash this link into my description box okay so you just need to click on that link and sign up into the pabli connect and then you will be able to access this workflow this automation inside your pabli connect account that to for free Not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of Pabli Connect and for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate to make their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video